What many people don't know is that one of my reasons for training martial arts was actually really simple. I wanted to be a Ninja Turtle. Specifically, the Red Ninja Turtle Raphael. He had those mini pitchforks weapons, and my six-year-old brain thought they were the coolest things in the world. So I started martial arts, and I wanted nothing more than to get my hands on a pair of Psy. And now, 20 years later, not only do I have a pair of Psy, but I'm actually pretty good with them. So this video is for all you guys out there like me who you want to get yourself a set of Psy. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a super hot and welcome to the Modern Ninja and specifically welcome to the Weapon Log series, a place where I review and tell you guys about how to get some of the amazing weapons and gadgets that you see me use. Also, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys dropped a like on this video. I, if we got to 15 likes, I would be super happy and it would really help out the channel. So yeah, see if you can do that. Today, we are going over the Sentry side. And just like all the other Sentry reviews I've done on this channel, if you use the code NINJA10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. So just as a quick rundown of the weapon itself, for those of you that don't know, the Sai is a traditional Okinawan stabbing weapon. The reason I say this is because although there are many styles of Sai that have blades on them, not all Sai have blades. They're not necessarily meant for cutting. They're meant for stabbing, just like these that don't actually have a bladed edge, just the stabbing tip. And the shape of this blade may take various different like shapes, whether it's being a blade like, kind of like a sword, or it can be round and smooth, or even a square or octagon shape. Century has two types of Psy in their catalog, both being octagon shaped Psy. They have both a steel and an aluminum, and today we're going over the aluminum variation. This Psy is meant for training and tricking, although they are 100% viable for itself as a self-defense tool. The main downside of using these for self-defense is the weight. These are one third of the weight of the self-defense side that Sentry has. And if you want me to go over the self-defense side, let me know in the comments down below. And so that makes the bludgeoning ability of the weapon a lot less viable. However, if you're just wanting to train for sport martial arts, then the light ones are perfect. And even though they're lightweight, they're incredibly durable. I've had these for nearly 10 years, using them all the time, dropping them with tricks, stabbing them into objects, and even using them for combat every now and then. I'm talking sparring, not actual self-defense. And they are still my go-to for when I wanna train with size. And this is thanks to the sturdy aircraft aluminum body that makes up the entire weapon. This is a very common material used for various types of tripping weapons like swords, commas, and even some nunchucks. The Psy come in one of three different colors, blue, gray, and red variants, but also have a metallic finish to help prevent the chipping and cracking of that paint. Now, obviously using them in fight scenes like I do will damage the paint over time, but the Psy are quite easy to repaint whenever you feel like a redesign is in order, like the ones I have here. I've switched my colors a lot over the years, sometimes going black, maybe purple, green, and now white with Possibly the next one being who knows what. All you have to do is really remove the leather grip, sand it down a little bit, and put on your new coat as paint. It's almost as easy as it would be to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. One thing to note as a tricker is that the tips of the side can be somewhat pointy. So if you're using this for tricks, you may need to dull it down just a bit for comfort if you plan to do any palm spins or tricks involving the tip of the side. It's not sharp enough to go through your hand or anything like that, but it definitely can be uncomfortable if you're using them to weapon trick. But I mean, if you put some force behind it, it may really hurt. So just, just be smart. Personally, I just took some sandpaper to the tip and made it a non-issue as soon as I got my side. Another issue for these weapons is that the tips, the caps for the handles can pop off. Not often, but if you drop them in a strange way or if something goes wrong, it can fly off. And actually, um, it actually hit my judge in a tournament while I was doing that. Don't worry, everyone was okay. No one got actually hurt. It was just kind of funny. So if you're using these for more traditional training, it won't really be a problem. But if you plan on doing sport martial arts and weapon tricking, then you might want to make some reinforcements by adding in some more glue to make it a more stronger seal. That way it doesn't pop off and hit somebody in the forehead 
overhead during a tournament. And before you ask, I still got second place, so it wasn't that bad. But overall, in my opinion, the Sentry Psy is great for what they're designed to do. Super light, easy to carry, and fun to use. And if you are interested in these bad boys, click the link down in the description below. And again, use the discount code NINJA10 to get 10% off your order. I mean, who doesn't want a discount? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one talking about tricking swords, or this other one talking about the tricking commas. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.